Hello, peeps. It's a hillbilly half of you today, and today we're talking about the all-out attack on Farage and his party. And it makes a big coincidence to what happened in the Brexit vote, because if people watching this remember the Brexit vote in 2016, uh, they realised that there were things were not going well about a week up to the vote, and then there was the Cox moment, wasn't there? Remember, a week before the vote, the Cox moment happened. Whatever you think about what happened there. And it was a complete attack by the establishment after that. Now, this is the same sort of thing. Now, um, he's had these uh, people in there, these Channel 4 journalists. And they've let out a hit piece on him of saying that this guy was talking smack and racism and whatever. So let's see who he really is. I think people will be very, very shocked about this. So please keep watching. It looks like this might be a setup. So let's get going. I have to say this in my videos because YouTube has gone very awkward these days and removed my monetization. The content in this video is intended for comedic purposes only. The views expressed in this video are not to be taken as factual information or a representation of my personal beliefs. I'm critically reviewing the info and videos I show as examples. Okay. Now this is what is happening at the moment to Reform and Farage. They are in panic mode because it's a week to go to the election and he's just getting so popular. It's like a groundswell. People who voted Brexit and other normal people have just had a guts full of the normal parties. So they've set the dogs on Farage and the Reform Party. BBC News, Sky News, Channel 4 News, Channel 5, the lot of them. So yesterday they let out this thing, Channel 4 News, exclusive undercover inside Reform's campaign. Evidence of a homophobia and canvassers racism. There's the guy there, look, that's the guy that they've been speaking to and recording. He's the guy that's put Farage right in the doo-doo. Farage has apologised for this, he thinks it's disgusting, and then... Let's have a look who this guy is. At the start of the Channel 4 News last night, Thursday, they did a feature on a journalist who went undercover whilst the Reform Party was campaigning in Clacton. There was some racist language and swearing going on by a supposed campaigner who looked like he'd been un uncovered as an actor. And it's a setup, not good Channel 4. Never, it couldn't be, could it? It couldn't be another thing. So who is this guy here? Andrew John Parker. He's an actor that was in Holby City. It is the same guy. It's Andrew John Parker. They even call him Andrew Parker in the Channel 4 piece. They use as an actor. About Andrew John Parker. Funny, intelligent and larger than life character actor. Although I'm well spoken, I find it easy to play comedies or an intelligent businessman or work as well as the villain and mafia type, which I get offered often. I've been acting on and off since I was 12. I've just finished a big part in a major film and should be out in November 2016. It's easy for me to play serious villain. It's easy for me to play the serious villain and also comedy roles in the Ricky Gervais film David Brent. I'm used to speaking parts and featuring a 2020 film in the Duke 2020, which I found a great acting experience. Theatre and many films, I went to road centre acting at additional skills plays guitar, fully paid, paid up equality mem equity member, kind regards, Andrew Parter, Parker. There's your guy. There's your guy that's come out as an absolute racist. He doesn't sound like a racist to me, does he? Because he's in an acting uh, profession and he's a member of equity. That guy don't sound like an absolute nutcase racist to me, or is he playing a part? I'll leave that for you to decide. Because you all know what I think. I think this is a Cox moment where they've chucked the establishment are very scared and they chucked something in there to attack Farage and everybody for the remaining week of the campaign. But it's not going to work because we all know it's going to happen. Why aren't they on this? Labour Party member suspended after Westminster honey trap arrest. Spokesman for Metropolitan Police say officer, officers executed a warrant at an address in Islington, North London. 
A Labour Party member has been suspended following the arrest of a man in connection with the Westminster honey trap scandal, Labour List understands. The Metropolitan Police confirmed today that a man in London has been arrested in con connection with unsolicited messages sent to MPs and others. The force told Politico the arrest can, relates to an in investigation being carried out by the Met's parliamentary liaison team following reports of unsolicited messages sent to MPs and others. The investigation remains ongoing. The scandal report earlier this year involves unsolicited messages sent to men working in around Westminster politics. So this was something from a, a while before where they were talking about who this bloke could be. Our initial theory that this could be actions of a hostile state seems to have been roundedly discounted. Security sources say there is no sign of the high level of sophistication or insight that would suggest a state involved. Uh, William Ragg's statement last week may provide some clues to what's going on. He said he felt threatened into handing out phone numbers of colleagues by, to, by someone he had met on Grindr. There is no reason why he should have had that numbers for those of another parties who were not contacted. Uh, let's look at the bottom. Almost every day we report on this story. We have learned of at least one more target. May well have been that shame or embar embarrassment is preventing more from coming forward, at least to journalists rather than the police. Yet, if the honey trapper is never identified, we may never know how vulnerable Westminster's inhabitants are. Now, these perverts shouldn't be doing this to start with. I've read a bigger article on this. There's Labour people. There's loads and loads of people being done by this. And this is nothing, really, what's happened to Farage compared to what's going on here. Whereas a Labour Party member is actually committing crime. This is hardly in the paper. It's hardly on TV. They're not even talking about it. But they are just after Farage. They want to attack Farage and the Reform Party. So don't get hooked in by all this. Vote for Reform Party. Do not get taken in by propaganda. It's happened before on the Cox moment. So please vote next week to, and don't get taken in by the propaganda. Please comment, rate, subscribe. All the best. Gaz.